With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let me explain this question to you. Two spheres, each of mass M and radius R by 2 are connected with a massless rod of length R. Find the moment of inertia of the system about an axis passing through center of one of the sphere and perpendicular to the rod. And there are four options even. So let me draw the diagram first. So this is the situation. This is sphere 1. This is rod and this is sphere 2. And this rod is massless. So there is no moment of inertia we have to write of this rod. Okay, so we have to write moment of inertia of this sphere 2 and sphere 1 about this axis. And then we will combine both of the values. So moment of inertia of sphere 1 about this axis as we see. This axis is passing through center of this sphere. So, moment of inertia of a sphere 1 is equals to 2 by 5 m into radius which is given r by 2 whole square. So, this is equals to m r square upon 10. This is the moment of inertia of sphere 1 about this axis. Now, we have to calculate moment of inertia of sphere 2 about this axis. So, first we will calculate moment of inertia of this sphere about an axis passing through its center of mass and then we will apply uh, parallel axis theorem. So here you can see this distance is r. This distance is r because length of rod is sorry 2r. Length of rod is r and this radius is r by 2 and r by 2. So total distance is 2r. So moment of inertia of sphere 2 about axis passing through center of sphere 1 is equals to Moment of inertia of this sphere about center of mass which is 2 by 5 m r by 2 whole square plus according to parallax theorem m into this gap whole square. So m into gap is 2 r whole square. So this is equals to m r square by 10 plus 4 m r square means 41 sorry 41. 41 mr square upon 10. Now total moment of inertia of this system is equals to i1 plus i2. So 41 upon 10 plus 1 upon 10 this is equals to 42 upon 10 mr square that means 21 upon 5 mr square. This is the moment of inertia of system about this axis. So first option is correct option. I hope you have understood the explanation. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.